welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to our video. The last video we showed you where we finished up the ship light, got it on the ceiling. In this video, we'll wire up the can lights. We might even get that vent trim in. I don't know, but we're definitely going to wire the can lights up, get them all working to make sure they work okay and they're bright enough. Let's get to putting them in and see what they look like. Okay, now I want to get these 12 volt lights wired in. There's the first one wired up. It's up in there the way it goes. There's the second one right there. And then there's two more down there where I've got those kind of just hanging there. I've got to get them wired up there and taped up and push them up in there where they lock up in the ceiling. Um, you can see where they're going. So let's kind of get that done and see what they look like when we get the power to them. Okay, here are the can lights installed. They're just little small LED can lights. They're not really bright enough. I mean, you can see in here and stuff, but in pitch black dark, I don't know if they would actually be bright enough when you get all the walls and all the beds and stuff in here. We'll just have to see if, if they're not bright enough. We'll just get some bigger lights and put them in the same hole that's a little brighter, and we'll put those under the cabinets or something to kind of help out over there. Okay, here we are back at the shop. We don't have the camper here, it's still at, at the house. But we're gonna set up to rip some more of the ship up. There's four pieces of, of painted, little thin plywood that we're gonna cut in the ship lap. And there's the table set up that I've got set up for it. And I'll show you how I set the saw up with the guide, it, I bought that brand new at a pawn shop for $100. What a deal. But it came with this guide that you can adjust in and out. I'll show it to you in just a second. It's perfect for ripping any kind of plywood or, or two by four if you want. It, you can rip, I think, an inch is the smallest you can rip with it. But let's get everything set up and I'll show you the saw setup. Here's the saw, and I'll show you the piece. And it came with this. We're gonna fold it out. all the other ship lap. So every piece that goes in there, the ceiling, the walls, it'll be exactly the same width. Then you just follow it along there and it cuts it just about perfect every single time. You can see that big fan I have on back behind me. I've got that where, as I saw, it blows the sawdust away from my face and my body. Now, this piece right here, it's a perfect cut from one end to the other. That's the only way I can cut anything straight. Let's cut several of them and get them stacked up, get ready to install them on the trailer.
All right, finally got a lot of that cut. It's these pieces right here. Some of them have been painted and stained and some of them is just bare wood. So here's one of those that's cut in eight inches. And that's four of those four by eight sheets cut in eight inch wide pieces. So that's the ship lap that's going on the wall. So that'd be the next thing we do is, is some of that. We also have to like put polyurethane on the ceiling on that um, aqua color shiplap that we put on the ceiling. We have to seal that up. So I don't know if we'll do that next or we'll install the shiplap next. See you then. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what happened while I was at work. She put the shiplap on the wall. This over here is going to have a backsplash. That's going to be around the counter and the sink and the, the cooking area. So that is going to have a backsplash around it. So that's why it's not painted. That receptacle right in the middle is a GFI because it's going to be around the kitchen area. And you can see that'll be a receptacle for the TV that'll be mounted on the wall. That'll be a receptacle, 110 receptacle for the refrigerator. It's going to sit right there. Can see we got our lights in we just got to put the cover around that fan to finish it off we got the ship lap up to the, the section of the nose where it starts turning to the v so now i can finish up i can finish up putting the receptacles in and then we can have the power in here yeah there's another receptacle I gotta wire that one in up there and it'll be done. And there's the ship wire flat getting started on the other side. We well, can see right here where we've started doing the ship lap on the other side. And then we're gonna space them out. There's the ones I cut at the shop and I brought them home to put them on there. Let's get some more done. All right, that's gonna be it for today. So you got the ship lap all on the wall. Got the receptacles in and got this much of the other wall done. And got the hole with the wires running out for the for the that's for the low voltage, the 12 volt switches for the lights, the fan, the water pump, and all that will come out and go to a switch box that'll be mounted right there on the wall. So got that much done today. Until tomorrow. Now let's see what I find today when I get home. She's done just about all the shiplap on the walls all by herself and has done a really good job. It looks really good. The whole wall is finished. That's gonna have a backsplash on it for the kitchen area, so it doesn't matter, it's a different color. Receptacles in. All three of those, one down there. Five door, shiplap on the back wall around the door ship lap down this wall past the main entrance now there'll be a wall right here and then the ship lap on the other side will be a different color i think it's going to be a blue the whole ship lap in there is going to be blue like this for the bathroom area there's all the lights two back there and of course the ceiling fan and then there's two more candle lights, which we may end up getting a little bit bigger one. Those are not very bright. So we may end up, there's all my wires coming out for the, the panel box I'm gonna put up here, which is laying over there somewhere. But that'll be all the controls for the 12 volt right there. <clears throat> there'll be five switches. That's for two lights above the water over there, the wires coming out of the bottom down there. You can hardly see them, but those are going to be for the water pump for the shower and the sink. And then that last light is also hooked to a wire that runs, comes out right down here. And it's going to be for an exhaust that goes to the composting toilet that's going to be inside the bathroom area. 
I think the next thing we're gonna work on is probably finishing up the shiplap in this bathroom area. And as you can see down here, the blue lines, that's gonna be a wall coming across and there'll be a door in that wall. It'll come off to right there and it'll come straight across. And all that's gonna be the bathroom area right in here. And there's gonna be where the shower's gonna be over in there. So that'll probably be the next thing. That and all we like on the ceiling to complete the ceiling is the the plastic cover that goes up and through there that finishes that off the trim with that fan. After that, the ceiling will be completely finished. So probably in the next video, we're gonna work on probably putting the floor down in here, finishing the ship lap in that area over there and building this wall. That'll be in the next video. Here's some pictures of the process that she went through putting the ship lap on here. I wasn't here to film it, so she took pictures and I put them on here to share with you so you can see the progress of the ship lap on the walls. We thank you so much for watching. And if you would, please hit that like and subscribe button. Help us grow the channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching and keep moving forward.